So in this video we're going to talk a little bit about doubling time and how we can build a model actually very quickly when all we know is the doubling time. So we build a, so we got a population of bacteria that doubles every three hours. <clears throat> so what percent is it increasing every hour? So it's kind of like we've got a compounded rate, but we want to know what its annual rate is. Now we're going to use the form y equals a b to the t, where t is measured in hours in this case. And I'm going to show you how to find b, but then I'm going to show you a shortcut. So if our initial amount is a, we know that after three hours that we should have double our in initial amount. So we should have 2a. So even though we didn't know the initial amount, we can actually solve this. Because notice now I can divide both sides by a and those cancel and I get 2 equals b to the 1 third excuse me, b to the 3, I'm getting a step ahead equals b cubed now to solve this for b I'm going to take both sides to the 1 third and I get b equals 2 to the 1 third now let's answer our first question and then I'll talk about a shortcut now the first now the question said what percent is it going up by every hour? Well first off we need to do the two raised to the one third and that one third does have to go in a set of parentheses. And you can see there I get one point two five nine nine two one zero five. So now what that is is that's my growth factor. Now I need to find the growth rate so R is going to be that number. I'm going to have to subtract off 1 to subtract off the, the 100%. And there is my rate as a decimal. So I'm going to multiply by 100. And I get 25.99%. I'm going to round that off. So it's increasing by about 25.99% every hour. Now, something I want you to notice. Notice that we were dealing with double time, doubling time and we had a 2 here and the doubling time was 3 hours and I had a 3 here. That's actually not a coincidence. So when I want to build a model for doubling time, I'll start with y equals and I'll have my initial amount, a. I know it's going to take 2 hours to double, or sorry, I know it's going to double so my, I'm going to put a 2 here. And now it takes 3 hours to double so what I'm going to do is write my exponent as t over 3 because what that does is it basically says okay if I put in 3 here I get an exponent of 1 so it multiplies my initial by 2 so now all you need to know is your doubling time and your initial amount and you can build a model same thing works with half-life we would put a 1 half in here whatever the half-life is here and the initial amount here so it's a nice shortcut for whenever you're dealing with doubling time tripling time half-life, quarter-life. Um, you can always use that to build a model real quick.